But I heard, uh, yeah, when it's a full moon, uh, for some people, that there is a um, unbalance, you know, the, the mind. Uh, there was this uh, Miami guy, a scientist, who connected the, the tide to the disturbance in the human mind during the full moon. So I yeah. That power there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And this is a place to see it. När månen rör sig över jorden lyfter månen hela tiden det vatten som är närmast. En gigantisk avlång havsvåg följer som månen på dess vandring runt vår jord. Och vid fullmåne, då måne, jord och sol ställer sig på rad, samverkar dragningskraften mellan de tre himlakropparna till att göra tidvattnet som kraftigast. Springflod, säger vi, om det största tidvattnet, det vid fullmåne. Arnold Lieber menade att samma sak händer i människan. Ungefär som romarna en gång sagt, som vi hört så många säga, sa han nu, att månen stör vattnet i oss. Att vid fullmåne, då tidvattnet är som kraftigast, blir vi galna av ebb och flod i våra kroppar. Crazy stuff happens here every day. In Miami Beach, for some reason, crazy stuff always happens. So, I don't know. I don't know how much of it I can blame on the full moon. But do people like on the forest talk about the full moon? Uh, some people like because obviously, if there's a full moon and something crazy happens, people tend to blame. You know, say, "Oh, it's the moon!" You know, people. You know, they're expecting it. Och tidvattnet i våra hjärnor, det står idag som fundament för de som vill tro på fullmånens kraft. För de som vill tro att fullmånen skapar olyckor, våld och starkare känslor. För de som vill tro att det vi hittills hört om fullmånens makt är sant. De som inte vill tro. De hittar sin förkämpe i James Randi, magiken 10 mil i norr, Fort Lauderdale, fortfarande Florida. Han blev känd när han plockade isär skedböjaren och enligt många storskojaren Uri Geller. Idag driver Randi en stiftelse som bland annat lovar att dela ut en miljon dollar till den som kan bevisa förekomsten av något övernaturligt. En har ingen fått miljonen. Men James Randi, han har vunnit otaliga priser för att vara han som skärskådar myter. Han som vrider och vänder på alla bevis för att sedan avkunna sin benhårda dom. Ska någon plocka ner månen från sitt himlafäste så är det han nu. The truth about the full moon, while I think that the effect of the full moon has been grossly exaggerated over the years, it's become part of folklore. Tests have been done, research has been done. What they have done is they've taken graphs of full moons and they superimposed them over crime records. They don't coincide at all, except under minor crimes only. Bicycle thefts are much more common during periods of full moon. That has nothing to do with the influence of the moon. It's uh, just a matter of practicality. You can see better and you can find bicycles much better with a full moon. But murders, homicides, various things like that just don't register on that graph. But you know, there are scientific studies like this one from uh, Arnold Lieber who saw a connection between murders in Miami and, and the full moon. The moon is a quarter of a million miles away, more or less, depending on the time of the month and the time of the year. That's a long way away. Now it weighs a lot, sure. It's a planetary body out there, but it's far away. It's right above us. It's always there. Not always directly above us. It's on the other side of the earth from time to time. And that's how the tides come about. The point is, that the gravitational effect of the moon 
on the human body, this book weighs what? 60 grams, 80 grams, I don't know. But the effect of this book on my brain at that distance is tens of thousands of times as strong as the effect of the moon when it's directly over me. That's the gravitational effect. This has more gravitational effect many times over than the moon itself. Jo, månen behöver då just stora ytor, hav för mäktig påverkan, menar Randy. Det lilla, lilla vattnet i den lilla människokroppen kan månen omöjligt få något grepp om. Och sen var det grafer och studier. För varje bevis för fullmånens kraft visar nu Randy på tio bevis emot- Forskare från Australien och USA som visar att det inte blir fler våldsbrott. Data från Spanien och Irland som visar att det inte föds fler barn. Studier från Tyskland och Österrike som visar att folk vare sig blir sjukare eller galnare. Grafer från Kanada och Iran som visar att det inte blir fler olyckor och så vidare. Unisont avfärdande, ingen månmakt. But you know, I met these people in Stockholm, like Pekka and Martin, the, the ambulance drivers and nurses and police officers, and they all believe in this. Are you saying that they are wrong? Yes, they are wrong because people have a tendency to notice what they expect to be true. People notice when they're right or when something coincides with their pet theory, but they don't notice it when they're wrong. I mean, you can talk about science all you want, but i, I still have trouble sleeping during the full moon. But you sleep well when you don't know that the full moon's up, I'll bet. But if you find out that it is a full moon night, oh, I know I won't sleep well tonight. And you don't believe that? It's not a case of whether I believe it or not. It's a case of whether it's so. My personal belief has nothing to do with it. My experience has shown me that it's not true. That doesn't mean that it will always be not true, no. It simply means that uh, good research, careful, dispassionate research in which you don't care what the answer is, you just want to know the truth, that's the kind of research you should be depending on. And look at this library around me, 3,000 books here in this library alone on all kinds of strange woo-woo subjects that we have shown are not valid at all, but they have a social effect on people. And we've got to bear that in mind. Again, that million dollar carrot is being waved in front of you. Why are there not a crowd of people outside here banging on the door saying, I want the million dollars? We don't find that. The question is, why? Blue moon You saw me standing around you want it with ice cream or you want it heated or what would you I like? want it heated and I want it with ice cream, please. Oh, you what a comment. You want it heated and what? With ice cream, too. Right. right. That is just on They still be using the film. Here's to the full moon. To the full moon. To the beauty of the full moon. Ah, there you go. That's some weak coffee. And we... <laughs> but the thing that still puzzles me is that these things people keep saying all over Mm -hmm. about the moon, not, not just in Sweden, but in all over the world. Oh, yeah. There is so much the same. I think people tend to develop the same stories. People are the same all around the world. The language may be different, the food may be different, the, um, the culture, the, the, the way of living may be different, but we think the same way, and I think the same influences are effective for all people. So I think that people uh, have enough things to make them crazy, Politicians, lawyers, people like that. If the moon made us crazy too, then we'd be in deep trouble. So what, what do you think when you see the full moon? You have to think seriously about it because it, it does affect you emotionally, I'm sure. Yeah, well it does. Oh yes, I think it does. It has an emotional effect on you and uh, I think on young lovers particularly. Uh, I think that's one place that has a lot of influence. I, I'm not a young lover anymore, as you may have noticed. It's a, a sense of wonderment. <laughs>